Right, so this is Deco. He's um, a Labradoodle, um, so he's a Labrador cross with a Poodle. Um, and he's also got some Border Collie in him, which again gives us this lovely, pretty male colouring on his coat. He's got Again, a typical Labradoodle coat that we see quite a lot. Uh, his is very thick and although he doesn't molt, he does shed an awful lot of hair. Um, and you can see with the bits that come out of him. Uh, so anybody with allergies probably would be allergic to Deco. Um, but otherwise he's a very lovely boy and we're going to put him into a schnauzer trim. So uh, something a little bit different for, uh, for, for the owners. Was obviously most, most pet trims are just a teddy bear trim, but we're gonna pop him into a schnauzer trim, so he's gonna have eyebrows and a beard, and obviously we're gonna clip his tail off as well. So we're gonna do him on a comb attachment. Obviously with most schnauzers, you would normally do a much shorter body blade. Because of the kind of coat he's got, um, you don't wanna to go too short. You want to keep a bit of length on, so he still looks fluffy, which is what most owners like. So we're going to use our Arco clippers, again on the shortest setting with a 10mm comb attachment. Good boy. Right, come here. So we're going to start from the back of his head, all the way down his body. Uh, we're going to take all his tail hair off as well with the same blade that we're using on his body. Good boy. Straight down. Good boy. So all the way down, all of this off his tail, all underneath, all right. And just leaving the end of the hair, so we're going to trim that off with scissors later. So you just want to trim probably about two thirds of the way down with the clippers and just leave the hair on the end for later. Good boy. And then we're going to come down, down the side of his body. Now, obviously, with a schnauzer, you'd leave a skirt. So we're going to leave a bit of a skirt on Deco. Um, he's already been clipped out. We've done all his hygiene trim underneath already uh, with a seven blade. So you want to run your clippers down the side of his body, just rolling off just into his skirt, which should just drop from the bottom of his ribs. So just under here, just being careful not to take too much hair out there. And same all the way down his ribs, just down round behind his elbow. Good boy. Good boy. And just rolling it down and off his skirt. And then we're going to take the clippers down over his back leg, down into his stifle hair. So you want to leave all this hair on the front here. And just run your clippers down just to blend in. Good boy. Again, making sure you leave all this hair here. Down around the back. So we're going to just do the inside, just on the outside of his leg. You want to be just to where the bend of his leg is. and take the clipper blades quite short over his stifle, just blending into the hair that hangs off the front. Good boy. And just down the back of his leg. Good boy. And we're just gonna comb up Recheck over what we've clipped. Good boy, stay. So I'm going to do down from just underneath his ear. I'm going to come all the way down over to the top of his shoulder. Good boy. Taking all this hair off. You want to come just down into the top of his front leg, leaving the skirt hair in the middle there. 
so stay and just down into the top of the side of his leg all the hair down the side of his neck and just running it down just into the top of his elbow And just take that hair on the inside of the top of his leg as well. Just making sure you don't catch that hair in the middle. Okay. And then down the front of his chest. To just about his breastbone. Just running it off down. Leaving that hair on the, in the in between his legs but making sure you clip either side nice and tight and just leaving the small bib of hair between his legs okay. good boy and then do the same on the other side right so we're going to do the short clipper work now so for him um, for a shout to trim we're going to use a seven blade on our clippers uh, we're going to take all this hair out just on the inside of his thigh and up round his bottom. He is entire, so obviously you want to be careful you don't catch anything under there. Um, so just taking the clippers down, just right in the inside of his back leg, all the way through. And on the other side as well. Just down the inside of that leg again, just to where, just to the bend of his leg, and you can clip up round his back end. Good boy. Just all the way through underneath his back legs and hold his leg up. You can see where we've clipped out underneath already. Good boy. Right, so once we've done his back end, we're going to move on and do the clipper work on his head. So we're going to use the same blade that we've used on his body on the top of his head. Um, the thing to remember with this kind of trim is they're not schnauzers and some dogs do have quite small heads under all that hair. Uh, so to try and keep him in balance with the rest of his body, we'll do the cheeks quite short, but we'll leave a little bit more head, hair on top of his head just to balance him out. Good boy. So we're just going to go just from, you feel for his eyebrow bones just above here, you're going to go just from behind those and right towards the back of his head. Good boy. Blending that into his neck where we've already clipped and into the top of his ears. Just taking care obviously to leave the eyebrows at the front. Good boy. So all the way round, down around the back of his ears, down into the back of his neck just underneath his ears and take all that hair out. Good boy. And just down his throat. Good boy. And the same on the other side. Good boy. And then we're going to use our seven blade again for the side of his face. So you want to go from, if you fold their ear back, just from the top corner of his ear, good boy, to the corner of his eye and then just down in a line on a slight diagonal to take all that hair off underneath around the side of his face and down his cheeks and underneath his chin. 
So we're going to go in reverse, making sure you clear all the front of his ear. Good boy. Around the side of his face. Okay. Just up into his throat, taking off that hair under his chin. And just slightly with the growth down his throat to blend in with the longer hair down his chest. So all of that off, just over his ear. Make sure it's all clear underneath his ear as well. Just to the back corner of his ear and round. Good boy. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Um, right, so we're going to use our Arcos to clip his ears. Um, I'd always recommend changing to a different blade um, that you use under your comb attachments. Doing short clipper work really does blunt the blades quite quick. So if you just keep one blade for short clipper work and keep a fresh, nice, sharp blade for under comb attachments, your blades will last a lot longer. So we'll pop that one on. Um, we're going to use a 15 uh, on the outside and inside of his ears. So you want to come just from the fold at the top of his ear. We're going to come all the way down, uh, right off the end. Always make sure that you're holding the ears nice and flat. You don't want to have any creases that you could catch your clippers on. And always hold the blade nice and flat to the, the ear, and that will prevent catching his ear. So just hold your hand underneath his ear. Just lightly run it down all the way to the end, keeping your hand flat underneath and just slowly feeding the ear into the end of the clippers. And this will stop you catching the end of his ear. So all the way down, round the back as well. Good boy. And again, always keeping a hand underneath. Be extra careful here, because all dogs have got that little fold of skin in there, which you don't want to catch with the clippers. Good boy. Taking all that hair off the end. Again, make sure you stretch out his ear here. Keep your fingers underneath. Good boy. And then we're going to take, fold his ear back. We're going to take all that hair out on the inside. So again, making sure his ear is nice and flat to your hand. All the way off the end. Boy, again, being extra careful on the inside of this flap of skin. Good boy. And all the way around his ear canal so it's nice and clean and tidy. Good boy. Okay. And then we'll do the same to his other ear. All right, so first we're going to just edge round his ears. Um, if you find it quite difficult, you're worried about catching the edge of his ears, if you just get a sponge and damp down round the edge of his ears till it's a little bit wet, you'll be able to see the edge of his ear much easier and you'll be able to avoid cutting him. Um, but otherwise, if you just hold his ear out nice and straight, just use your fingers as a guide. So feel for where the edge of his ear is and trim straight around the edge of his ear. Always, always point from the top of the ear down to the tip because naturally your scissors will follow around the curve of that ear. Whereas if you come this way, it's very easy to cut into his ear. Good boy. So just use your fingers to feel for the edge as you go round. Good boy. And same down the other side. Good boy. You always want to make sure that the ears are trimmed as close as you can get them. You don't want tufty bits sticking out the edges of the ears. Boy. Uh, next step is to blend in your two different clip lines because obviously we've used a shorter blade. So you want to make sure we don't want to send the dog home with that line there. So holding his ear out of the way, we're just going to take our thinning scissors and just blend that in so there's no visible line between the longer and the shorter hair. Good boy. 
We're going to do the same at the edge of his ear and then over the top of his ear as well. Boy. So if you just pop your finger underneath just to hold his ear out at the top there, this will stop you catching the edge of his ear and blend that in and around the back. So obviously we keep, um, always keep a neck strap on them when we're grooming just to make sure that he's safe. It'll help keep his head up when we're grooming him so he's not likely to drop down into our scissors. Uh, just always make sure that there's plenty of slack in it. Um, it's, not, it's not to be tight, um, it's just to keep him safe. And then we'll do the same on the other side of his head. Boy. So first of all, we're going to just do the split between his eyebrows. You want that to be directly, if you just feel in between his two eye sockets, so straight down the middle. So just keep the eyebrows out of the way. We're just going to take our scissors, thinning scissors straight up the middle. Just be careful not to catch his eyebrows. Obviously on a, different, on a different breed, you can only do it so much, uh, but by splitting the eyebrows, you'll get that kind of schnauzer look. So we're gonna hold his eyebrows out of the way and just trim that hair in front of his eyes. Good boy. Good boy. Both corners. Just always make sure that the points of your scissors are well away from his eyes. So be it upwards or downwards, make sure that the points are not poking towards his eyes so that if he does move, you don't catch him. Boy. Then we're just gonna blend in the top where we've clipped in just into the top of his eyebrows because we want the eyebrows to look separate from the top of his head. Good boy. Right, next step, we're just going to, again, hold, keep in that eyebrow right out of the way. We're just going to blend in at the corner of his eyes. So schnauzer eyebrows should always lay nice and tight to the corner of the head. So holding the longest part of his hair out of the way so you can see his eye. Hold still. We're just going to blend in that line where we've clipped to, just up to the corner of his eye and just down into the side of his beard. Now obviously because he's not a schnauzer, his beard doesn't lay naturally like a schnauzer's would. So you will have to do some thinning, thinning out just to make sure that it lays nice and flat. Good boy. So, and then holding, the, holding his eyebrow out of the way, just get those hairs just underneath his eye at the corner there. Then combing his eyebrow down, we're going to take this long, this long hair here at the co corner of his eyes. He's going to go as close to the side of his eye as his eye as possible. So holding your scissors flat to the side of his head, you're going to take any hair that's overhanging is going to come straight off. Good boy. So you should be able to see the corner of his eye. And you want to be on a slight diagonal. So keeping your scissors aimed towards this corner of his nose and keeping the tips of your scissors nice and flat to the corner of his head. Good boy. Then combing his eyebrow across, I'm going to take a pair of straight scissors and again from the corner of his nose you're going to aim towards the corner of his eye and you can trim them as long or as short depending on the owner. Obviously, if they like to see his eyes, then you'd want to leave them that little bit shorter. Good boy. And making sure to catch all that hair underneath there. Good boy. And then we're just going to take our finners into his beard 
and just thin out lightly just so that it flop it comes down from underneath his eyes so it separates from his eyebrows because he's got quite a thick coat you will need to do some thinning out on him good boy Again, just recheck that eyebrow. So again, from the corner of his nose, just round to the corner of his eye. Eyebrows should be nice and pointed and hanging down in the middle. Okay, and then obviously we'll do the same on the other side. Right, and then we just go back and check to make sure that his eyebrows are even. Uh, they're both the same length. They should come just to the middle of his nose. Okay, and then finally, we're just going to check underneath his beard. So combing it all forwards, just blend it in underneath there. Good boy. And obviously, because he's not a schnauzer, you can trim up the end of his beard if you wish. make sure that it's nice and level. The beard should always be on a slight diagonal, so shorter at the back, longer at the front. head finished. <laughs> so we're going to clip, we're going to blend in all the clip lines all along his shoulder, along his skirt and down over his stifle hair. So just using your thinners, just comb it up. On a schnauzer trim the elbow and the top of the shoulder needs to be quite tight so we're going to blend that in quite well. Just all along the top, round into the front of his leg. Boy. And just down and into his elbow. Good boy. To so making sure when you look at him from the front, it should be nice and tight, both inside and out. And then coming along his skirt line, because they've got quite thick fluffy hair, you want to make sure that the skirt drops down rather than fluffing out. So combing the skirt up, popping your scissors in, just to take out the bulk of that skirt. Just being careful, obviously, where we've done his hygiene trim there, there's less hair underneath, so just be very careful as we come down here that you don't take too much hair out because the skirt will already be a lot thinner there than it is up at the front. And then just blending down. Good boy. And your skirt should drop just down round behind his elbow. Boy. And then coming along, we're going to work our way down from his tuck up, down his stifle hair. So blending this all in. Good boy. And again, because he's quite fluffy coated, you will need to thin this stifle hair out Make sure that it lays down flat. Good boy. Just work your way all the way along that clipped line. Just keep combing it back up to check it. Good boy. Stand. I 
I'm just checking from the back here to make sure that when you comb it up, there's no long hair sticking out and that the hair is dropping nicely down off his stifle. Good boy. And then lastly, where we've clipped the short hair on the inside of his leg, we want to blend that in with the longer hair on the outside of his leg. It's just taking your thinners down to blend it all in. Good boy. Just combing back up to check. Uh, right, so we're going to start with his front leg. Um, they should be, you want nice column shaped legs at the front. So again, you can use your comb to check. They should be nice and level either side. So we're going to use our chunkers just to take some of the bulk of his hair off. Again, they work really well on this kind of coat. If you've got a coat that's a little bit wavy, even when it's been dried straight, these are great for getting the coat off without leaving any lines. So all the way up the inside of his leg. Boy. Boy. And then we're going to work our way round his leg using the chunkers. So down the fronts of his legs, just down to the top of his foot. We don't want to see, we don't want to see a foot on him. It should be nice and straight down. Good boy. Good boy. Just at the top of his foot. It's down. Again, try and make sure that he's stood straight when you're doing it. Blending that longer hair into the short elbows. All the way down the side of his leg. Good boy. And always combing upwards and keep rechecking the hair and then come around to the side of his leg. Trimming straight down from his elbow. Again, we want to be a little bit shorter at the elbow, flaring out into the rest of his leg. Should come down the back of his leg. Coming up the back of his leg, straight down to the back of his foot. Boy. And checking from the front and from the side to make sure that the legs are even. Keep combing up and checking that leg. And then using our straight scissors, we're going to come round his feet. Schnauzers should have quite tight feet. Um, you don't have to do that, but you know, he's not a schnauzer. Uh, but if you want to keep as much of the breed look as possible, then I would say take them as tight as you can. If you need to expose the nails, then you can do. It's done. So, Nice and tight, right round his feet, stand. If he won't stand still, if you just keep a hand on his elbow, that'll just keep his foot in place while you trim round his feet. Curving slightly up as you come round to the back of his foot. Good boy. Good boy. And the same on the, ins on the inside, stand. We've taken his feet back as short as we can. And then holding his leg up, we're just going to comb this hair down over the back of his pad. Stay. And take that straight across. Good boy. And then trim the bottom of his leg 
down and round and into his foot. And then just using your straights, go back round and tidy where you've been with your chunkers. Stand. Stand. Again, you can use your comb to check that your legs are straight. So we re comb in, making sure you've got all the stray ends. Good boy. Good boy. And just hold his other leg up just to check down the inside here as you comb it out down towards the bottom of his foot. Boy, stand still. Good boy. Right, so we'll move on and do his skirt next. So making sure he stood as straight as possible. Your highest point of your skirt should always be at the end of his ribs. So feel for the end. That's where your highest point is going to be. And the rest of the rest of the hair here wants to blend round and down and into his stifle hair. So we're going to set our highest point. Aim on a diagonal down towards his elbow. And your skirt should finish almost just in line with the top of his elbow. So. And then trimming his skirt round and down and into his stifle hair. Good boy. So for his back leg, first off, we're just going to trim on the inside of his back leg. So just holding his leg up and combing that hair out. We're just going to take our scissors straight up, just to the top of his hock. Good boy. And then we're going to trim round his feet, so again, same as the front, you want them nice and tight, so as close as you can get to his toenails. Good boy. Taking all that hair out underneath. Good boy. Again, just make sure he's standing naturally, try not to overstretch him too much. Good boy. Stand. And then we're going to trim down the side of his hock, round and into his foot. And the same for down his, the back of his hock. So you want his hock to come out and curve round and into his foot. Good boy. Again, we're just holding his leg up. Just combing that hair down, just get all that hair off the back of his pad. Good boy. Good boy. And then check the inside where we've already trimmed. Make sure that it's laying nice and flat. Good boy.
and then combing out the hair on the inside of his leg. We're just going to trim that straight up, right up to the inside of his thigh. Good boy. So once we've done that, we're going to trim his stifle hair from where we've trimmed his tuck up to come right down and just into the tops of his toes. So combing it all forwards, we use our chunkers and come straight down just into the top of his toes there. Make sure you comb all the hair out on the inside of his leg as well and get all of that. So if you stand at the front of the dog, so you can see the hair on the inside. Trim that all the way down to the tops of his toes. Good boy. Um, so Deco again has got quite a typical kind of Labradoodle coat um, and you can, you can do these kind of trims quite well on him. Again, if you had the more poodly type of coat, you wouldn't want to be able to do that on them. Um, you, would, you wouldn't be able to get the hair to hang down. You could do the same kind of trim, but I'd always recommend no skirt um, and you would have to really blend the back of the legs. And then lastly, we just want to check the hair on the side of his legs. So if he's standing at the back of him, uh, making sure that it drops down nicely. So again, you can take your chunkers, just blend in the long hair so that it falls nicely over the top of his foot. Good boy. Right, I think that's pretty much his back leg done. Right, so just to finish his tail off, we're just going to run our hands down, just cover the end of his tail and just take the end of that hair off there. And then we're just going to comb up where we've already clipped, just go back over any hairs that the clippers have missed. Just tidy up underneath that tail. And then holding his tail out, we want the end of his tail to be the same length as at the top. So we're just going to, hence we've not clipped right down, because obviously his tail itself is skinnier at the bottom than it is at the top. So and then we're just going to use our scissors just to trim round all the way underneath. Same on the other side. Good boy. Good boy. And then just on the top as well, hold still. So that it's all the same length the whole way down his tail. Good boy. And just checking by holding it up, running your comb down. Obviously make sure you've trimmed around his bottom as well. And then just check the top of his tail in the same way. So just comb it all back and just trim the long ends off so that it's the whole, same length the whole way down his tail. comb his chest hair up, just use your thinners just to thin it so it lays flat. It should just drop just down between his front legs. Good boy. And it should follow through and underneath between his front legs 
to join up with his skirt. Good boy. And if you just get them to sit down, holding his head straight, and any hairs that are sticking out underneath when he sits down, just trim those off and through into his skirt. So the chest hair should always sit either side, just between the two rosettes there and down and in between the front of his legs. Okay, done. So that's Deco all finished in his um, schnauzer trim. Uh, we'd expect the owner to bring him back at least every six weeks uh, for this because of the length of leg hair. Um, or if they couldn't bring them back that often, then maybe a maintenance bath and brush out in between to keep him looking nice. Mm -hmm.